New tonight, some movement on plans for a new stadium in downtown Birmingham. The County Commission's Finance Committee voted today to approve setting money aside for the project. CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark joins us live in the newsroom. And Michael, when it comes to talk of a dome in Birmingham, we've heard it before. What's different this time? Well, in addition to the facility hosting sporting events, some leaders think that meeting and exhibit space would lure big attractions to the area, leaving the city and county to reap the benefits of those visitors. Downtown Birmingham could soon look like this with the addition of a new stadium. It's been on the county radar for some time. Jefferson County Commissioner Sandra Little Brown says she'll vote Thursday to support the idea of committing $1 million a year for 30 years to build the multi use center near the BJCC. Brown says the facility could host UAB football and other major sporting events that could be a draw for businesses and families. I think it's very important to put a basketball or some form of sporting utensil in their hand as opposed to any type of weapon. Abdul Al-Wahid is president of a youth football program and says he thinks a new stadium may give kids motivation to play on a bigger hometown stage. It precipitates an incentive that we can also use as a as an apex to really galvanize our youth to get them to work towards being able to see themselves in that facility one day. County leaders are quick to point out the facility wouldn't just be for sports, also for concerts, exhibits, and meetings. I think the, the county spoke volume today when we passed the resolution to do our part, and hopefully uh, that will spark the other businesses and other governments to come in and do their part. The entire project is expected to cost more than $170 million and would need more support than the $30 million from the county. A spokeswoman for Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin says he's committed to continuing to have a conversation, not just with the county commission, but with the council to make sure everyone is on the same page when it comes to a downtown stadium. Now, the county commission will formally vote on this Thursday, and Little Brown expects it to pass. We'll let you know what happens. Live in the newsroom tonight, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.